Hello, this is the TradeSite stock market preview for Friday, the 28th of March, 2014. As usual for a Friday, this is going to be kept fairly short in terms of what we've got to look at and analyze here. Uh, we had a real nice morning on Thursday. A lot of stuff triggered. Uh, the afternoon was fairly light. I'll show you how flat the market really was. I uh, had a real nice Monday and okay Tuesday. Wednesday was pretty boring. Thursday was decent uh, because of the morning. And, uh, and Rich had a couple of calls in the afternoon as well. But uh, overall, I would say it was you know, not the most exciting last two days in particular. Um, but nice green week overall for us, uh, I would say, at this point. Let's take a look at the S&P daily chart. And you can see we're, we're kind of in the middle of no man's land. March here has been extremely boring, basically stuck in a 40-point range on the S&P since March 1st, and even including the week last week of February. So we're going on uh, four-plus weeks here of a 40-point range on the S&P. You can see the red line there as the static trend line. Uh, of the last nine bar move up, and that is uh, that's been support so far. Uh, meanwhile, here is uh, the Nasdaq side, a little more volatile, broke down here a bit the last four days. Uh, but watch that red static trend line again, just above 3,500. If we can get there, that should be uh, that should be support. Let's look at the uh, semiconductors, which were having a better month until the last two days, uh, came back a bit here, and then biotechs, which, as the old expression goes, as go banks and biotechs, so go the market. And the biotechs have been heading lower. Notice if I put the seeker into projection mode, this red line goes dashed. That means the risk, I'm sorry, the static trend line has finally been confirmed broken on that move on the, uh, on the NASDAQ side. Uh, I'm not going to go through individual stock charts today. I will show you real quick the action uh, intraday on the futures this week so far. This is since uh, Sunday's close. We gapped up Monday morning and sold off. That was our nice morning. Uh, recovered a bit in the afternoon. Gapped up again Tuesday, sold off and filled that gap, recovered a bit in the afternoon, gapped up again Wednesday, real, real, real slow. That was that horrid morning, Wednesday morning, walking it down here uh, and uh, filling the gap again, as gaps usually do, uh, and then selling off sharply over lunch and closing on the lows, uh, which, you know, the funny thing is all that really did is put us down about 10 points for the week on the S&P. And then a fairly flat opening here, continued to sell off. We actually got to 12 bars for our Comer buy signal, uh, bounced from that point, and then uh, that was it for the whole day. Look at the rest of the session, flat as flat as they come uh, in the afternoon. So uh, that's the week so far. We do have a green static trend line above there at about 18.46 and a half. Main focal point for Friday, let me tell you what it is. It's very simple. Uh, we are unfortunately now at the end of the first quarter. Hard to believe, but uh, Monday is the last day of March. We are in what they call window dressing mode, which means a lot of the stocks, the banks and institutions have them near the prices that they want for the end of quarter statements. End of quarter statements have more power than end of month statements, of course. So that means that probably we're not going to see a lot of movement. Too bad the end of the quarter is not tomorrow, Friday, because Fridays can be a little light anyways. You'd love to just have tomorrow be kind of a dull session and come right back in Monday and get to it. But the reality is that tomorrow is probably going to be fairly late and uh, Monday is probably not going to be much better. That's just the reality. Uh, I don't see there a huge chance of there being a big move. I mean, obviously in the first hour we could get some volatility uh, and that's what we'll be trading. But the odds of getting a big move here uh, in the middle of quarter end window dressing are not good. So. Monday's not going to be great, probably. Uh, I would like to point out this green TriStar level on the ES futures. I've added the levels here at uh, 1843.50. That is 1843.75, actually. Uh, that seems to be the magnet point, and that might be what they get stuck to here for quarter end. So imagine two more days playing around this level. It's possible unless there's some major global uh, news, but we did hit it Monday. Look how we came down to it early Monday. Bounced, bounced, broke, came back, tested it again. Moved away from it Tuesday and Wednesday, came back to it for the close Wednesday, literally closed right on the number. And then uh, here Thursday, after the gap down, moved back above it, came back to it, came back, trusted, tested, tested. That's the big number right now, it is the magnet point. And it's hard to break away from magnet points uh, when you got uh, month end or quarter end coming. So just keep that in mind. That's what we'll be watching, see what we can find. We've got some nice picks for tomorrow just in case. Uh, we'll see you in the trading lab.